Congressman, I want to shift gears into your son because it's a big national issue. I've got to say that uh, he is just continues to impress everybody in the liberty movement that he so deftly handles all these attacks. He has Joe Biden coming out against him in private meetings saying he's got to be dealt with. He's got Chris Christie coming out. He's got uh, the president coming out against him. Karl Rove coming out against him. When the entire establishment is lining up against somebody, you know they're good. And the way he's really trying to defund the foreign bribery, the foreign aid, the way he's standing up against drones, uh, I tell you, uh, what is your take on them all lining up to shoot down Rand Paul? Well, it's a pretty good indication that he's probably on the right track. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when when all the bad guys gang up on you, uh, but it, it sorts it all out because, uh, you know, there's a few Republicans that do it too, uh, and a lot of Democrats, but the leadership of both parties uh, can't stand any of us. So, uh, because they are about one party, they pretend there's a great deal of difference, but if we reveal the truth, how many in the establishment, uh, Republican or Democrat, you know, would, uh, you, you know, even consider anything we say about giving Bradley Manning a fair trial or, or Snowden a fair shake. Uh, they're not going to do it. And, uh, and, and this is, uh, you know, I, I think people are beginning to realize, uh, because the information is getting out, uh, you know, a little bit differently now than it used to get out. We, we got 100% of our news from the three majors. That doesn't happen anymore. I've only got a few minutes left with you. Again, former Congressman Ron Paul joins us. I want to talk about the big announcement that you're going to make here on the show. I guess a day early, we're honored. Uh, but first off, uh, looking at the future here, as you said, there's new media, there's alternative media. The numbers show in the aggregate we're bigger than the old media, the state-run media, DrudgeReport.com, Infowars.com, the constellation of sites that uh, Ron Paul, uh, who's joining us, has. I mean, overall, uh, they've got metrics out there. We're now bigger than they are, but they can still unify and kind of regurgitate the same news. And then sometimes we even kind of get caught up in debating whatever talking point they've put out. But but short term, midterm, long term, what do you see in your historical crystal ball looking forward? How do you think this is going to go for the establishment? Because they are losing the people. Just last week, the Pentagon came out and admitted that they've got to stop lying to the people and, and, and said they're losing. Yeah, and the papers are fading quickly. The Globe and Washington Post, you know, uh, it's, it's, they're the old media. There's, there's no doubt about it. So I, uh, I have two thoughts on that. One, I brag about it, compliment young people because they're attracted to it. We were able to run, you know, very successful campaigns and organize a lot of people through the Internet. At the same time, we know technology is always advancing. And I think the question boils down, will the technology advance so quickly that our government can neutralize us and know everything that we're doing with the Internet and cancel us out when we make use of it? Or will we be able to get around them and be able to have our own protection about government invasion or some alternatives? Can it become internationalized? I don't know these techniques, but it's going to be technological because the government's not going to go away quietly. Uh, they, they will will have to admit one of these days that the days of the three majors dictating everything to us are over, that uh, the access to the Internet and what we're trying to do, you know, with our new programming, I think is, uh, is a real challenge to them. But under the conditions of today, that's what we have, and we have to make the best of it. Incredibly said, and I'm not trying to sit here and gush over what you just broke down, but that's the battlefield and the establishment in cybersecurity admits this is a takeover. They're saying the Pentagon, the CIA will be involved in domestic psyops. They've always been, but now they're openly announcing it and that they want to use technology to crush the public and manipulate social networking instead of the people using it to restore freedom and liberty. So there is a battle, a war going on. Do you agree that we're entering the, the event? horizon uh, and that it will be the individual out there right now uh, becoming a citizen journalist and supporting independent media who will decide the future of this fight? Yeah, it will be, and we have to come to the understanding that it's just, you know, if you're a reporter for the Washington Post, that you have certain protections that we don't have. Everybody has the same protection for freedom of speech and publication, and everybody is a reporter, so everybody should have those same uh, same protections uh, built in. But there will be a lot of contests, and uh, I'm... Uh, I'm optimistic that uh, right now there is a gap.
galvanized youth movement that's listening to our message, and that's where I get some encouragement. So I'm hoping uh, that uh, I can get some people to uh, dial in uh, and, and look at my website, my new website dealing with this channel. If they, you know, wanted to uh, get caught up on exactly what's happening and seeing what's going to happen, the announcement tomorrow as well as when the first program. The first program, uh, I think I can let that go out too today because it'll come out tomorrow. And the first official program is going to be August 12th. And for people to know and get uh, more information on this, it's very easy, ronpaulchannel.com. And, Absolutely, uh, and this won't be released till tomorrow, but you guys sent it to us early. We have your press release here, uh, August 12th, 2013. So it will be uh, launched, and you've already got hundreds of thousands of uh, people uh, that are signing up to be part of the channel. And if people will support InfoWarsNews.com, and if people will support RonPaulChannel.com, and if people will support uh, the true new independent media and journalism, we'll be able to hire the reporters. You'll be able to hire the reporters. We'll be able to hire the filmmakers, the researchers. I mean, I've spent, we did the math, uh, 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 Dr. Paul, in my 18 years, the amount of money I've made and put back in is $36 million wow. that I've put in uh, to InfoWars.com and what we do. And it takes a lot of money to be able to do this, folks. You need to go be part of RonPaulChannel.com. Uh, uh, sir, uh, uh, before you go, give us in the next minute any tidbits about the channel and what's going to be on it. Well, the first thing, in, in the early part of the show, we'll go over some very, very current events, sort of like what we do uh, when I talk on your program. What's the biggest event? We'll quote something in the news, and I'll make my commentary on it. The big difference is with this media, it's not like me being interviewed on regular media where if I talk for a minute and a half, they cut me off, or like a debate. <laughs> you know how they do. There's no time limits. There's no advertising. It's unfiltered. We can have an online Ron Paul filibuster. Yeah, this, and this makes all it makes it makes me more comfortable because I'm not worried about how to pack into 32 seconds everything I want to say. You know, then you tend to want to speak quicker and this sort of thing. So it's sure. a much more relaxed uh, environment, and uh, we'll have guests. We're going to have guests on the shows, and uh, we're going to try to pick out incidents where uh, individuals are making successes. You know, uh, last weekend I was at the YAL conference, Young Americans for Liberty, something like that. It's a very successful group, another group that's joining us, and it's only five years old. It was the high growth of one of our campaigns. So those kind of things, we want to recognize people who have achieved things, and we're going to be taking calls. There's going to be, right now, it's probably going to be by, by email. People, the, uh, the, the, the listeners will be able to send questions in, and I want to have wow. an uh, interactive uh, program. You know, you have worked so hard as a congressman, sometimes 18 hours a day on record, and you've always been extremely articulate, but I know that feeling of having 100 things you want to say and then speeding up. Now that since you've been out of Congress just just a few months, when I get a chance to interview you, you sound so much more relaxed, even more uh, focused, and even more uh, clarifying. Uh, are you enjoying uh, being out of Congress? Yes, and there, there is a difference because uh, when people ask me about that, I say at least I don't have to get on an airplane <laughs> in the direction of Paul, of uh, Boehner. You tell me, well, get on the airplane, get up here and vote. And the neat thing about my channel is that uh, we have a, uh, an office here in uh, in Lake Jackson area where we put we put the studio, so I don't have to drive to Houston. I don't have to go anywhere, and you know that makes a big difference, also. And uh, it, this incredible, it, it is more relaxing, and I have more time to read. Matter of fact, I thought I'd be so busy, and I'm having a little more time to write as well. So I, yeah, I feel pretty good. Absolutely amazing. Well, I look forward to speaking to you. Uh, soon, once the channel uh, launches, and I look forward to getting you back on on the economy. Uh, just briefly, uh, we see the Federal Reserve bonds in, in trouble. You've been warning about that for a long time. A brief comment on that. Well, yes, yeah, there was a statement out the other day on how much, how many billions of dollars they lost because interest rates have crept up a little bit uh, against their wishes. So that represents losses in the real value of those bonds. But it shouldn't. It's not going to be the Fed literally that loses. It's the American people. Because the taxpayer stands behind that, and they can just print the money. They don't. They don't care about it. They're not a business. They don't have a profit loss. But the value of their assets did go down. It just means that they can liquidate that through inflation, and they just print more money. But
but it isn't the Fed that loses the money. It's the people. What we need, the only answer for that is get rid of central banking. Uh, we don't need the Federal Reserve. We need sound money. RonPaulChannel.com. Uh, very exciting. Thank you for working so okay. hard for, for human liberty. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There goes former Congressman Ron Paul. Very exciting. And uh, he was telling me during the break, he goes, if I have time, uh, he wants me to be on the show with him. So... Uh, very exciting to be on Ron Paul's show instead of him being on my show after 18 years. That guy's been coming on my show. I remember, I, I said I've known Rand, uh, uh, Rand Paul for like 14, 15 years the other day. And then I happened to catch the rebroadcast locally at night. Just that piece for about 10 minutes. That's not true. Time flies. I just keep saying 14, 15 years. I've known Rand Paul. Now that I thought about this, just weird how time flies. He, he'll probably end up being president if... We're able to turn this country around. He's got a real shot at it, except for the electronic voting machine fraud. I can read the tea leaves as anybody can. That I actually think I interviewed Rand Paul first. And, and I was going back in memory. I remember listening to something called Republic Radio before I was even on it. And I was on Republic Radio uh, when, when uh, Mark Cornkey uh, was running it with, uh, I think it was Dan, Dan Thompson. But the point is, I remember hearing Rand Paul on with Mark Cornkey like in 1995 when I was just getting on Access TV. I think it was like right out of college then, pushing his dad to get back into Congress because he'd been in Congress in the 80s and then as a libertarian, I think like the first libertarian ever elected and then run out. And then he came back in 96. So I had just gotten on Threshold Radio in 96 and was able to call through Republic Radio, and then I got Rand Paul's number, and I got Rand Paul on first, then I went and met Ron Paul. His district used to come up to Austin, South Austin. And so I met him, I think it was in Bastrop or something the first time, before, when he was just Dr. Ron Paul's, he didn't even really have gray hair, I had gray at the temples. That's how long I've known Ron Paul, 1996 in person. I, I'm, I'm just waxing nostalgic here. <laughs> just here we are 18 years later and the whole new world order is attacking Rand Paul the, uh, the the whole republican establishment the democrats Ron Paul's retired uh, <laughs> it's just it's weird it's weird how life just goes by and and it's just interesting it's interesting to cuz it all gets foggy you know memory and then you start thinking oh now I remember that I remember this I remember and now it's 21st century. Ron Paul's going to have an internet channel that goes on TV. They've got TV stations lining up. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars nightly news, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happened. So check it out, infowars.com forward slash show.